So we have the ability to write JavaScript files and execute them on Mirth. This lets us leverage the VS Code editor for our JavaScript files we want to run in Mirth. So I have a repository on my GitHub, which gives us a Python file. This gives us the ability to deploy the channel we need, send a message in, and then get the logs we want to view. Now before we start, we need a few things, which I've already got installed on my machine, and that's Python and a local Mirth instance. I'll leave a link to my Mirth install video in the description, and if you don't have Python or Mirth installed, then you can stop the video right now and come back once you have them installed. So first thing we need to do is download this repository into the folder we want to work out of. So let's go up here and code, and we'll copy this, and I'll open up my development folder. I'm going to type in CMD. And in the console, we can do git clone and then paste in our URL. So it's going to clone it. So now I can open this up in VS Code. So let's open up VS Code. And let's go to File, Open Folder, and let's go to my Development Folder, and then let's go to Mirth VS Code JavaScript Runner. So we have the repository, now let's open up Terminal and download all the required pip installations for this run JavaScript Python file. So we can type in pip install dash r and then requirements. Txt. And I've already got them installed, but your machine might have to install them. So next we want to create the JavaScript we want to run in Mirth. So let's go in here and create a new file. I'll just do test.js. So we've got that. And then now we need to add a new channel within Mirth and add this file as an external script. So let's go into Mirth. Now I've got this VS Code example. So I go in here, I can go to the source and go to the transformer. We can see that I've got an external script and I've pointed it to the JavaScript file that I have on my Mirth VS Code JS runner repository. So it's exactly this one right here. Now let's create a new test message that we want to send to the channel. So I right click new file. Let's do test.hl7, and then let's add in an hl7 message here. So we'll add that in there. Now we need to install the run on save extension by Emerald Walk, and this gives us the ability to run a command when we save a certain file. So in our instance, when we save this test.js file. So let's go to our extensions right here, and we can type in run on save, and it should be this first extension. So we'll open this up and we'll install it. And it's installed. So now we can press Control Shift P to open up our command palette. And we want this open workspace settings JSON. So if you don't have that you can type in workspace settings and it's going to be that JSON file. So we'll click into that. And then now in the README, we can get the JSON I have here and replace it with what's in settings. We'll save that and I'll go ahead and save this one. So now we need to go back into settings and we need to look at this. So we need to match any file that has .js as its file extension. And then we're going to run this command python run javascript.py and we're going to give it the channel ID and the message file location. So we need to grab this channel ID from Mirth. Let's go back to my channel, go to summary, and we'll just grab this. And we'll paste it into here. Then let's grab the message file location. So this is going to be this test.hl7. 
we can right click and copy path and then since I'm on Windows I need to escape these backslashes So now that's going to deploy this channel when we save our test.js file and it's going to send in the message contents of this file. Now in the run javascript.py I've got a few arguments so let's open that up. So you can edit the instance, I've got the default as localhost, you can edit the port and that's going to be the API port and I've got it 8443, you can edit the user which I just got as admin and the password is admin. So you can edit that within this right here, just like I've done with the channel ID and the message. So now we can write our JavaScript within our test.js file. So let's write in a logger.debug hello. Save that. And then we can go to our output. We can go into run on save we can see that it pulled up that logger. So just as an example, I'm going to run this again. We can see that it's running that file. And then it's going to spit out a hello logger. Now if we wanted to, we could go in here and do logger.debug and do the e4x for msh4 msh msh.4 and then msh.4.1.toString and before I save that we should get the sending facility we'll save that and it should print hello and then sending facility yep that's exactly what we got and if we go into mirth we got the same thing so go back to dashboard we can see that we got hello and sending facility Hopefully this helps you in working with JavaScript within Mirth. I know it provides me with, with a whole lot of more JavaScript editability and just saving off the files. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the lessons. Make sure to leave me a like, subscribe, and check out my Udemy courses for more in-depth videos.